Are you guys here for an appointment or you are here to play? Play. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, it's 2.42 p.m. right now. I'm on my way to pick up the kids from school. Um, they have a doctor's appointment and um, we also have some errands to run. We'll be taking you guys along with us. So come along, let's go pick up the kids. Tolu, you ready? Thank you.
Hello guys, so we are home um, right now. It's almost six o'clock. I'm about to make dinner. I'm making um, jollof rice and um, chicken for dinner and um, stay tuned. All right, so guys, I'm getting the ingredients for the jollof rice ready. And this is, I'm um, gonna need some onions. Gonna need some bell pepper. And some tomatoes for the jollof rice stew. Ripe, okay. So some of it are ripe. And some of it are not really right enough for jello fries so i think this should be enough actually let me so i'm using two bell pepper and about six tomatoes no seven tomatoes and two bell pepper and i'm gonna get some um spicy so guys i'm gonna blend the pepper I'm going to cut this into two in order to make it easy for the blender to blend. I'm gonna put in some water. <laughs> so guys, this is everything we need for the jello fries um, ingredients. I'm just gonna um, take my butter. And then um, get some spoon. And I'm going to put in some butter. So I'm going to let the butter eat up uh, while I get um, the other ingredients ready. So next thing I'm gonna use is this tomato paste. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open it up with this right here. Okay, so it's open. So I'm gonna get my veggie oil. Add my my veggie oil into this. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna have some bay leaves to give it to give it a nice taste and smell. So this is like the chopped bay leaf and it gives you jollof rice a nice flavor so you need like a teaspoon i'm gonna put the soap in on medium heat so it's not in bumps and i'm just gonna uh get some um, onions sliced, diced as well yes baby 
The tomato paste. I love my jollof fries um, red. I mean, very red. Red looking. So I'm gonna have everything to eat. So you want to stir it very well so it's not too thick. Okay, so this is ready. Okay, so the tomato paste is ready. So I'm just going to pour in the um, pepper, onions. So I'm gonna have the remaining um, the ingredients for the jollof rice. <laughs> gonna have some rosemary leaf, just a little bit, about half a, a half teaspoon, a tablespoon of onions and I'm adding like a tablespoon of paprika a teaspoon of ginger powdered ginger and if you have the fresh one you can grind it all together with the pepper tomatoes and bell pepper but since I don't have the fresh one I'm using the powdered one and this is the garlic like a um, teaspoon of garlic and thyme, a teaspoon of thyme. And the last thing I'm adding is the curry. Add some curry, like a teaspoon. And then I'm adding salt, a tablespoon of salt, and then one seasoning. I guess it has like two cubes in in there and I'm just gonna stir it together you see how thick it looks and you just gonna let it fry so I'm just gonna cover it a little bit not all the way like halfway so the vapor can still go out so it's not too watery all right guys so the next thing i'm gonna do right now is to parboil the rice while the stew is getting ready it makes it faster and makes the uh, it makes it faster and also makes it less bumps um, rather than having it cooked for a long time in the stew so I'm just going to boil the rice. Okay guys, so the rice is ready and the stew is ready. So I'm just going to wash the rice right now and then pour it into the stew. I'm just gonna stir it together. And looks like it needs a little bit of salt. I'm gonna have like a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna 
stay together. We'll make sure the stew is well distributed into the rice. So I'm gonna have the remaining tomatoes and diet sliced onions. And I'm gonna take my foil paper and just use it to cover it up. So I'm just going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to put it in low heat and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. And it will be ready. Guys, the chicken is ready. And you can see how smoked, how perfectly smoked, I mean, our barbecue it looks. Recording now. so guys food is ready and we are gonna <laughs> eat thank you so much for watching and um don't forget to click the subscribe button if this is your first time on my channel also please give this video a thumbs up for uh, more recipe also let me know if in the comment section if you'd like to see more recipe on my channel thank you so much for watching once again and i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed blessed day bye